Hey guys, Jake for Aussie Reptiles here again. I know two videos, same day. Look at us go. Uh, ignore the hair. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I might actually be able to get it cut today. Um, geez. Um, Barbara's hairdressers have just recently opened up again. So hopefully, we can get our hair cut. Anyway, what I'm showing you in this video, I'm going to flip the camera around. Uh, it's going to be a two-parter. Hey, Chase. Um, it's going to be a two-parter in terms of uh, two different rooms. Um, but we're starting off here in my room, uh, my bedroom, aka the reptile room. Um, and I'm going to show you guys. Oh, I've got Lexi here. She likes to lick faces. Um, out you go. Out, Lex. Uh, I'm going to show you guys what is in this tank uh, behind me, well, in front of me, behind you guys. Um, <laughs> So let's flip it around and let's have a look. A little bit of an unorthodox entry there. But uh, anyway, let's flip it around and have a look. Here we have this tank. Pretty sure you just saw it in the corner there. Um, this is a three foot, a three by two by two foot tank. Um, so 90 centimeters in length, 60 centimeters tall and from back to front. So 60 centimeters in depth. This tank houses my adult male long-nosed dragon. I have four long-nosed dragons all up. My other three are juveniles. They are last year's, uh, last year's babies, and they are in um, a tank in the lounge room. So we'll have a look at them. Um, but while we're here, let's have a look at this guy. So he's not um, like a great, he doesn't really tolerate handling as such. Um, and that's fine. They're not really a species that that gets handled. So that's totally understandable Let me just get up on my knees here um, Anyway, this is his layout. So obviously um, UV light, so it's a 10% um, He's also got his basking spot um, which gets to around 45 degrees um, uh, Which is nice and warm for this species um, It's got a few fake plants back there ferns fern here uh, the exoterra auto top-up feeders uh, in there. I've got another one of them actually right next to me, which I haven't used yet. Uh, and then here he is back here. So, as I said, not the best for handling. Um, let's pop him there so you can see him a bit better. Doesn't bite or anything. He just doesn't like it. Whoa! <laughs> uh, which is obviously understandable. They're not really a species that actually usually gets handled or likes handling, getting handled. Um, but this is him. So hopefully, I believe with the juvies, I've got another male and two females. So I should have two pairs, um, which is good. Um, they are um, uh, not all related, so I can actually breed them and not have any problems with inbreeding. There he is again. I wish he stayed there. That was a better positioning, but there he is. Nice male, nice red belly to him. Really cool. So he gets this tangled himself. Eventually, the others will join him in here. Um, the long-nosed dragons are an absolutely awesome species to work with. They're a small species of dragon. So that guy there, he's a full-grown adult. Um, from snout to the vents or his butt, um, he's probably what 10, 15 centimeters. And then with his tail, his his tail is more than double uh, the length of the actual dragon himself. So you can see there, that's all his tail, and that's him. So with tail, I mean, they're probably, what, 45 to 50 centimetres. But from actual snout to vent, that's in there, about 15 centimetres. Anyway, let's go check out the juvies. So here we have the juvies. So there's two there, one there, and also in here houses the pygmy bearded dragons as well, which you would have guys seen from this year's expo pickups. But this is their setup. Obviously, you've seen the adult male, so you know that they're not going to be able to stay in this size thing permanently. Sorry about the noise. The dogs are fighting, play fighting. Ooh, and one of them's obviously farted. Anyway, back to these guys. So this is their setup. Super simple. Um, they got a buffalo skull, um, the spinifex grass, and it's obviously all fake. They're exoterra products. Actually, these are uh, reptile one. Um, desert sand mixed with the coarse... Um, Desert Sand by Pisces, which is that one that looks a bit coarser. Um, that's really good for, rather than just a straight red sand, it sort of breaks it up a little bit and gives it more texture. Um, and then obviously we've got the branches which they love to sit on. Uh, anyway, it keeps them happy. Um, so we've got the peeping Beardeds. The other one's usually chilling back there. You can see it's leg. 
So he likes to just basically burrow and, and not really be out and active much during the day. So in here, they have a normal, um, just a normal uh, orange light, uh, just to light up the tank a little bit more. Uh, and in this one, they have a 10% UVB. Um, this one will soon be another UVB uh, on the weekend. That's them, super simple. Again, awesome species. So as I said, these guys are juvies. This is their size. The big boy here knows that he's the boss. And then obviously just the pygmy beauties. They don't care. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is the juvie longnose dragons. While I'm out here, I might as well show off these quickly. Um, this has citrus in it. She's my female bearded dragon. Um, it was um, originally meant to have um baby frillies i was supposed to get them from carl chalmers but unfortunately with what happened in the world at the moment sort of cock blocks me and unfortunately we weren't able to get them anymore but fingers crossed he produces more this year and then the following year so the start of next year i should be able to acquire some for that this tank here has some red sand because this was the ridgy uh, ridge <laughs> ridgy ridgy did my ridge tail monitor um, but he's now uh, in a wooden melamine unit back in my room. This is now going to be set up for a few uh, adult green tree frogs. Across here, these are my red-eyed green tree frogs. There is also my juvie white-lipped tree frogs in there. Uh, and there's also a trio of uh, blue mountains tree frogs, which will soon to be come out uh, and in their own tank like this as well. That's all in the works. Uh, and then we just have another juvenile bearded dragon there as well. So that is the tanks in the lounge. So I know these last couple of videos haven't been that long um, and I know they're probably not what everyone wants to see. I know a lot of them have been on my outdoor lizards lately, um, but as I said, I work um, quite a lot and then I get to come home and enjoy my lizards. Majority of the time after I come home from work, all these lights are off. So I don't actually really get to see my lizards for a lot of the days because they're already asleep, especially the outdoor lizards. It only depends on how weather is as to whether they'll come out and I get to enjoy them. That's why when I do get sunny days like today, like this morning, that I like to go out there, pick up the camera and just film them because it's just, it's awesome. But again, reptile rooms coming soon, more updates on certain species and how to guides, care guides, setup guides, everything like that will be coming soon. We're just in the works of some things, but hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below what you guys want to see next. Leave some name suggestions for my long-nosed dragons. I've never actually named any. Hey guys, that being said, hopefully you didn't just, hopefully you did enjoy this video. Leave some name suggestions for this guy, plus the three jubies down in the comments below. I'll pin the winner. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. See you in the next one.